Welcome, 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 CCTV. Right in the right hand corner if you want to get scared. Look at that head. That's a planet right there, guys. My head's a planet. Planet Chris. Anyways, got a big head, getting older. What is it when you get older, your head gets bigger? What's up with that? You know, anyways, good morning. I have sound. Listen to this. I even have music that's done right. So, after hours of grieving over my sound, I figured it out. Um, no help to you, Richard. Nah, just joking. Richard couldn't figure it out either. He's uh, 1J. He comes in and out. Anyways, you guys ever just want to um, really just know... I'm going to take my time today because I have sound. But you ever just really want to know, what the heck is this thing? What the heck is this? Is it a planet? I don't know, guys. I'm going to show you what I think it is, all right? So, now, if I actually mess up your paradigm and you're showing stuff and you believe it's a planet, I believe there's a planet. We all believe there were planets, right? And the final day, she's got a lot of... Uh, stuff but you know we all miss it a little bit me and Doug were talking about this this is adjusted by AI right there but I can't keep that because I don't own this program I'm just using it um, so we, we get something like this and we do the contrast we bring this thing out right and it's beautiful it looks like a planet I want to believe it's a planet right because we're looking for planet X but see, I'm going to show you a little bit different. So this thing right here that we think might be a planet, might not be a planet. Anyways, so I'm here to tell you this might not be a planet. Maybe I'm not telling you anything because maybe I'm not recording. Ha! Am I recording? Yes. It looks like I am recording something. I don't know where my quarter recorder went to, guys, so patient with me. I gotta go find, there it is. Well, at least we know it works, right? Anyways, um, I could always use that rant and do something else if it didn't show. I'm over here, I'm frozen in the corner. Look like I got stuck. <laughs> What's going on? I guess this is not the stuff. See for all channel. So anyways, I had a little malfunction there. Of course, right? What else? Anyways, this little AI program, Be Funky. I'm not buying it. Um, I guess I'm recording. According to this, I'm recording. I don't know where my recorder is, but um, I don't need to know, do I? But if it's recording, it's out there. I'm really having a hard time with this thing, figuring it out. See, it's not letting me see the recorder when I want to see it. Okay, here I am. Anyways, work through my issues here with me, guys. Um, I also want you to see stuff like this. So let's check this out. we got to figure out... We don't have to figure it out. Phil's helped us quite a bit. Um, but, like, when we see stuff around the sun, we see stuff like this. We see stuff like this. Right here. These are UFOs and ships and bugs and a combination of stuff, but you look at what's in the background, right? And you're like, come on. Now, I caught something like this on Chukamas. And uh, on Chukamas, it had layers. Like, I think it had 12 layers. So this is pretty revealing right there. Okay, so we want to know what's really going on in our skies and what's really the planets, okay? Here's another picture. This thing right here is an actual light bulb. Um, you know, the star shade, what I've been talking about, with the rim and all, it's almost fake looking. Well, it's man-made looking, you know, for sure. So we're doing stuff like this. We're showing you stuff. And like right here, you're looking at telescopes, you're looking at um, lens devices. I don't understand how they all work, but this is sunshade right here you're looking at. Okay, now sunshade was created. Um, let me show you this picture right here. I haven't done anything to this picture. Right here. So it's just uh, sunshade, starshade. I call it sunshade. 
Anyways, it's to hide, right? Objects. So as we, as I show you this, watch this, guys. I'm gonna just do it right in front of your face. We're gonna get down to this and get to the truth. I turned the light up a little bit. I'm gonna sharpen a little bit. Now he's using high level, um, high level filters. Some of this stuff I think is even from NASA itself. And I guess I've been given the job to soft disclose this with my level of one year of college, half a year of college. So you got this device out there they're using called Starshade. And let me tell you, it's for a reason they're using it. It's a very good reason. Um, but now they're they're deceiving us with it, and so I just want to like show you. So let's go ahead and expose what's hidden. So this little star shade, right? See how it's a little flower. And you know guys, we've been seeing little flowers quite a bit in the sky. Um, let me show you one of them. So I'm going to take my time and show you some stuff. Now, a friend Bible, Catherine, she sends me stuff like this. It's just beautiful. There is no filter. We see that beautiful little flower, right? So honestly, some of these objects are very deceiving. Um, Got that little flower going on right there. Now, I see you got satellites working with it. With Starshade. Starshade. Seeking Earth like planets. Right? Look at this. Earth like planets. In our solar neighborhood. That means it's right here, guys. Our neighborhood. We've got these little planets. They're, they're kind of picturing these as, you know. <laughs> are planets like Mars and Venus and but you don't see the rings of Saturn or you don't see Jupiter you're actually looking at I think you know the planet X system okay let's continue so I'm going to show you a little bit of stuff like this today um, here's the star shade and telescope controls so this stuff's been around and one of the things they're doing with this or they started out doing with this, from what I understand, was to hide the suns or neighborhood suns with exoplanets that are like can, hang, can handle light. And I think they turned it to hide um, myself personally, to hide Nibiru and Planet X and Wormwood and all the debris. More so the debris, because I think if they've actually turned this thing down, so my wife. Uh, you wouldn't even see the UFOs, you would also see the debris, the rocks, uh, major rocks going on. So this is New World's Observer ASMCS Study. I'll get to this in a minute. Oh, I'll just read this right, introduction guys, okay. Um, nearby neighborhood wants to know if the Earth-like planets abound in the universe are warm. No. Are they warm, guys? Watery paradise, common. Does life arise everywhere? It is given a chance. To answer these age-old questions requires a very good telescope, capable of pulling the signal from a faint Earth-like planet out of the glare in its parent star. So, you know, if our, if our system of Planet X is coming around, our neighborhood system, solar system, our binary sun, coming around the sun and they wanted to study it they would have to create a device called starshade we will probably have a lookout of a distance of 10 parses you following guys we'll have a good chance of finding an earth twin Ooh, like uh tumble ai uh, 209 2009 but at that distance the earth is only 13 mag magnitude and hovers less than 0.1 arc seconds from the star. So otherwise the, the mathematical equations and blah 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 comes down to 
being able to study these planets without the glare and the telescope, folks. So they need a high, big, expensive, high quality to resolve the glare issue from the star. Now, let's say, let's just hypothetical, right? Or to we're studying star shade, right? Hypothetical, let's say they're studying the planets coming around, all seven planets, or seven or eight planets, that are coming around the sun, right? They'd have to block the sun to really, you know, and so, one use high position nulling between spacecraft and the mid infrared to su suppress the stellar glare. See the stellar glare from the sun and stars, they haven't figured it out yet, but they, they created this device from what it looks like, is to get a better look at these planets. Now of course they're talking about planets that are on the edge of our solar system a lot of times, but they're really studying, I believe, personally, in my opinion, um, so they're studying also separate spacecraft and they got their own spacecraft and it goes on and on and on right I'm gonna get off of this right now so I'm gonna show you some more pictures so it's a star shade technology development been going on for quite a while guys um, electromagnetic observation from space the EO, EOS so they've been studying this and they've been trying to figure out how to hide it and so let me just show you some pictures of how they're doing that we see this object quite a bit right here um, this is one of the lenses and I've always been fascinated how it has like a, a, a 666 star and the demonic star looking thing in the front here's another one I'm right here guys so these are the introductions of the lenses I think that I'm showing you and it's quite a bit to see. Um, like you'll see the star shade back there. Right there, star shade. Good morning, everybody. I am going to show you a little slideshow with a little bit of music and a little bit of narration. So, the original picture on this one right here, guys. This sun, what he's saying is a real sun, you can't even see it. So let's see if we run into it. And here we got the sun shade. Let me get my little pointer out. This is your sun star shade. Here's an asteroid right here that I've really examined quite thoroughly. And it's like, it's huge. It's behind the star shade, so it's translucent. But you see all this stuff, guys. It's debris fields. You see all this rocky looking stuff? This is all debris fields that are behind the translucence of the wings of the starshade. Okay, and so you get this stuff that it's hiding. Think about if it wasn't hiding. Here's another real clear picture of the starshade. There's an artificial man-made light. Now I do want to say he puts his, he puts his telescopes in a doghouse with about 300 bucks of the filters and he gets shots like this they're really hard to get he's been doing it for a while and um, I'm doing little filters just to get it clearer and clearer I want you guys to understand what's really going on so like um, on this one right here part of the sun okay so I you know this is something else this is a, a planet or one of the rings or one of the discs but here you go, the asteroid, it's right in this area. Now this is an artificial sun. This is a false sun down here. You ever see the sun spread out? So this right here is another object. So there's some of the objects, there's debris filled, there's planets, moons. Um, I think this is actually our real sun if I show it to you filter. Now what I'm about to show you the star shade, it's going to be mind blowing. I'm going to show you like three parts, I think. Um, and just wake your mind up to the fact that everything is not a planet. It's okay. Here's your fake artificial sun with the black dot in the middle. Here's your star shade rim. And then back here, you got so much debris. This is what they don't want. 
If we were actually to look up in our sky and see the fire on the tail of this million mile tail fire coming at us, you'd be saying, Chris, I can't watch your stuff no more. It's too scary. See, here we go. Here's a star shade. You're saying, star shade? Show me what star shade is. I'm going to show it to you. Watch. This could be our, I thought about this, this could actually be our sun, just really minimized. And then these are different lenses they're using to distract, obfuscate, whatever you want to call it. But so you get a, a picture like this. He was saying, are these bugs or UFOs? And my conclusion is these are, you know, bugs and UFOs. Let's go back a couple. These right here are the lenses, and we see them in a close-up, we see them in a faraway shot. We see them tiny, we see them under the sun in South America, we see them giant in Alaska. These are the, the, the shields that are blocking, these are the lenses. And I think it's a, like an illusion that they're so big sometimes, it's just the reflection against the chemtrails and everything's just magnifying the whole thing. So. You get an object like these two lenses that could produce that, you know, they could produce that as a reflection on Earth. Now, see this round right here, guys? This round right here is just the, um, let me see, that round is, is just a doghouse effect that he made a hole in. Um, so you can get that clear, dark, no glare. So he's taking the principle, actually, of the star shade and using it for his camera to get the better shots. So it actually looks like a hanging light. So this would be like the artificial sun illuminating. And these are the asteroids and debris fields. Yeah, I can't make that. Now, I've seen this. If you go back to 2019 on one of my Chukamas shows, this round object on the outside of it, and that is the whole star shape. These are little UFOs down here. There's quite a bit of them. Um, there's satellites, UFOs, a number of different objects going on. See, I got a little bit of outline there. So I'm hoping I'm recording okay, guys. Um, and this picture is in Australia. Look at that. That's not normal. Now we would say that's a planet and these are two lens flares. No, actually those are two sun shields, star shades. This might be Nemesis or it could be the um, sister sun, the binary planet. And what they're doing is they're just hiding it so well, guys. No matter how you filter it, it still comes out. The sun up here, two shields and a planet. Now I've been getting pictures like this from Roy and Gil quite a ways, quite a quite a while. And now I understand, like you might be looking at the star shade right there, the different lenses, the different colors of those different types of lenses that I've been showing you for the last three days. So you need to get a little bit more understanding. This could actually be an asteroid, this big piece right here. But I think it's amazing how it has a shadow behind it. And they're just doing everything they can. They're throwing everything they can at it. If you pick it up on a camera, you're thinking a lens flare. Look at this ancient circle right there. Ancient. So that might see a filter. And up there now, I know Gil didn't take this picture. I'm getting them right here. This one, I like the angel clouds, really, more than the red star shade behind it. I'll get a little bit of angel clouds for you. Just, you know me, I'm addicted. That's beautiful. And so all that obfuscation with the clouds and the... It's all false lighting. That's why it, the original on this, guys... That's the original, right here. I, li I like it. This is the original, how dark it was. No lie. That's the original. Right there. So you can see how much the filters are helping you guys see. I think these are angelic over here. Absolutely angelic. So I, I'll show you that in time again. I think that's like see the two legs, the arms, the head, see the wings. See? So I think I got some angels. Thank God they're protecting us. People ask me if I'm okay. I'm actually okay more than I thought I'd ever be with the warfare I get on this. 
Now, see, stuff like this is debris. I think, you know, debris. And stuff like this, it could be a real planet. It snuck out behind the star shade. I like this one. What is the triangle? I don't know. I haven't figured that one out. Anybody got technology on the triangle? You've seen this in Alaska. You don't see this in tropical areas. You don't see these diamonds. You see all this obfuscation through Alaska lenses. You know, and look at that little deal it didn't hide. Look how close it is. There you go. That's the shot I got right there. I mean, come on. This is a bunch of debris. A bunch of obstacles. These I thought were UFOs. Now I'm saying, yeah, they were unidentified at this time, but now they're identified. These are just different lenses they got out there beside the sun. Some of them are quasars. Some I'm not quasars. Some of them are stellar cores. The stellar cores are unlit. But now I really got the full one. These are like stellar cores or something. These could be like different lens flare refractors right there. This could be an actual planet they're trying to obscure you from. Which I think it is. So I kind of was right on it. You know, it's kind of been on it for four, probably two years. Understanding a little bit of it. But it's always good to know. It goes a lot deeper this rabbit hole than we understand. Man, I got some serious bed hair. <laughs> God bless people. There'll be more. They're being hit so the masses don't freak out. Come on, you know the masses are going to freak out. So if they want to study this from a telescope, they put up the star shape, right? Pretty simple. And here's the sun, or whatever sun they're pointing to in the distance. So let's say it's our sun, and let's say this is Blue Nebiru coming, right? Okay, well, they're going to block that sun so they could study the atmosphere push that telescope in a dark spot so when phil does his videos he puts them in a doghouse so you can get he can get that filter to work really high level filter right so there you go the three star shade technology gaps right starlight suppression we're seeing that now if the sun turns off why wouldn't they turn on an artificial light in the middle of that right here why wouldn't they? So the star dims all the way down. It could actually freak out the masses, right? So they say, hey, you know, to my wife, I like to do a little thing. They go, hey, turn on the sun for a minute because our sun's being blocked, right? So they, whoom, they turn on their sun, guys. I'm telling you, it's what's happening. And then we're seeing the big old flowers, you know, like Bible scent. Distractions, distractions. And you're not going to see that, or you might see that. Or you, I'm definitely seeing that. Okay, guys, I'm not trying to be crazy. I definitely see right here, I definitely see this. Um, I'm going to show this to you. You definitely see the flowers. Okay. We see the dot in the middle. Let me just blow that up. You know, um, what's her name? Final, final days. She's always showing this little object, the satellite. So. They're able to really hone this thing in, line up with it, look like a lens flare. You'll see the octagon. That's what I was showing you right there, that octagon. I'm hoping this is recording properly because I have to keep popping things up I normally don't do. But right here, you know, you see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's a hey? Hexagon done is a eight-sided object is a hexagram. Eight side. Okay, well, whatever, guys. It's eight-sided. We've seen that enough. We've seen this on uh, buildings. Eight-sided Okay, so octagon is eight-sided. That's right. Uf UFC fights, right? So here we hear, you know. So what's happening here, guys, is that this is just truth. It's just straight-up truth, you know. Truth will make you free. 
least when you're looking for the planets now when you look at like Samuel Hoffman stuff you're gonna say now I see Samuel Hoffman stuff is might be the only thing that we're really getting clear clear about because of um, the shadows right look how they built this thing star shade shape stability right let me see if I can if I could change the size of this page. For some reason it's too big. The way I want to show it. There you go. Much better. So we see here um, suppressing diffracted light from an axis starlight and optical modeling. I've seen stuff from the ocean down south and uh, look like sun sitting on the horizon and I was like man what are we looking at so now you know as this technology is really opening up to us we could understand more and discern between the real planet and the fake, fake stuff going on it's been around for a while guys So, you know, overall, they're looking at other planets, but if they could hide the whole Wormwood system, the whole Planet X system from us, they're doing it. Why not? Well, you want a thousand people to see asteroids going over like the, the movie Greenland? Do you know your neighborhood would be tore up and looted in an hour? I lived in New York in a 77 blackout. Didn't take long for me to destroy New York. We got these objects just flying over. My dog wants to go out. Everybody, my dog wants to go out. So you guys, as you look at this, you can stop it. I'm going through it, so I want you to study it and look at it if it's unfamiliar. Don't say BS and just go away and say, no, that's the planet I've been showing it for five years. Well, if you've been showing the planet for 20 years or four years or 15 years, and we're getting more understanding, that's a good thing. You're getting more truth. Look at this stuff, guys. It's the truth that makes you free. Look at that. You see how they could do this, right? Are you seeing how they could do this up here? Are you? Are you just, I ain't got to explain all this. This is common sense. They're, they're making a dark area that you. It's a blocked off area. Okay, it's hiding. It's hiding the stuff. It's hiding the planets. You know, I'm trying to just break it down simple, guys. You know me. I'm not. Oh, well, I can get into the. If you want me to start doing equations and stuff, I can do it. I just don't want to sound so smart. You know, it's probably Texas Q up there working it. Starshade test bed at Princeton University. No, it's not real. Laser station, mass station, camera station. You should know the truth. The truth will make you free. So I'm hoping these are all recording good, so. Here's the model, experimental models. So don't be deceived no more, guys. Don't be afraid of it. That's why Jesus said, don't be afraid. This is man-made technology. Now, um, you know, you could even go on the fact that they're probably using the money from the Green Deal. Uh, the sun, you know, we're, we're, we're in this, like, um, what? Heat wave thing all the time, right? The sun's warming the planet or the carbon monoxide to warm the planet. Well, they could just say, we're blocking the sun so the planet don't get so warm. So what if they push us into an, a, a little mini ice age, right? What? I know, right? We've seen a lot of this stuff in the sky, a lot of these shapes. And actually, as you're reading through this, you start really understanding what we've been looking at and how to get a grip on it. They're even showing you, like I showed you that one picture of the, of the deal burning up. Look at how this stuff is, just a segment of it, how it's made. Okay, now look at, remember I was looking at this one, right? Look at this one, and we'll call it quits on this segment. I think I'll do a half hour show on this. They were showing you this stuff burning up in the atmosphere. I think we're looking at Sun Sim or Starshade project that went bad. Look at, look at the wiring, the mesh, they're showing you maybe a whole, maybe a whole array, maybe a whole satellite that puts out the star shade. 
Now, remember the one video I showed you from NASA, and it was a looked like a flying uh, UFO, and it went up and opened up the whole flower. That was star shaped, and I was I was kind of going off of just what I've heard people talk about, but never seeing this much information on star shape. So you can see it all through our pictures. You don't have to guess now. Um, when I see something like this, and then I filter it, okay, I gotta believe whatever this is, the sun can't be in front of that. So I gotta believe this, this object right here, before I get off here, that this is artificial sun. And I gotta believe that some of this we're seeing might be the star shade or it might be a planet, but then you see stuff like this. There's a planet or a moon. So, you know, it's hard to tell, it's hard to discern, but this will give you guys a little bit more of a clue. So I hope you enjoyed my face and my voice. Uh, you wanna tip me? Donations are allowed, permitted and encouraged to keep my channel running. I'm gonna try to buy me um, a 10i computer, guys. Anybody got one cheese they wanna sell me, I'll buy it. Anybody want to donate one? I'll take it, but I really need to go to the next step. Uh, video card and sound. Do what I'm doing. So if you want to support me, PayPal's in the bottom. Just click that. You know, I take $100 bills, $1,000 bills, and, and million dollar bills. No problem. Crypto coin, I'll take that too. But not that I've ever had any. God bless people. God Jesus. Today. Okay, so now up here, this is part of the star shade too. And then you got your like telescopes. I think you got some of the debris. There's a lot of debris he's showing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start getting to that. I'm taking my time on this. And so you see all these different crazy pictures I'm showing you, right? And you. You want to know, Chris, what's really going on, right? And so what's really going on, they've been developing this for a long time, guys. This is um, insane photography. Um, I don't know if it shut me down. It looks like they're allowing me to do like a disclosure on it without, I mean, I know Jeff P got thrown off for showing stuff not half as this clear as this. Look at that, guys. You, you can see that what's going on. So they have different satellites working with this thing is huge. Now is it going to kill us? Now see the see the um, the rim right there of the sun star shade. Well, I say sun shade, star shade, the same difference. So you get that rim effect. Um, let's get out of here right now. So we're talking about star shade today, and. Uh, so it hides the sun right here, guys. Watch. It just hides the sun. Gotta make sure you're tuned in to what I'm, I'm showing you. It hides the sun very clear. But now what if the sun is going out, right? It's, I mean, what if the sun is actually turning off? Here's the whole system, how they're operating with this thing damaged equipment yeah and you know what if some of the equipment that's damaged we're seeing watch this um, it's pretty amazing we think it might be an asteroid I think I have a picture right here I put up yeah we see we see stuff like this guys and we're thinking oh it's like an asteroid or something but if you look at this thing it's more like a satellite burning up in the atmosphere all the wires and okay and just try to get different light on it. See the metal looking stuff? Okay, so, you know, we're seeing this parts of the sun simulator maybe burn up and crash. The technology's getting so old. But then, you know, you watch pictures like this. Is that a planet? And, you know, put crazy filters to try to bring it out. And I think it's still part of the system. And, you know, these pictures right here, you guys were loving them. But, you know, I think like, you're looking at part of the system, totally part of the system. So, I never used the face down here, and I think it's causing my thing to, to flip. But um, you got a number of things going on here. 
Okay. We try to figure them out, and I think we're getting a glimpse now of, of what we're dealing with. Some of it's real. Some of them are... You know, I think a lot of it's just man-made technology. You can take the fear off of aliens and all this other garbage. You know, I just want to show the truth, guys. And if I show the truth, and I can no longer say, look at that planet, like, right there, then I'm going to say, wow, guys, check out that, you know, um, starshade device. Right? So here we go. Start with that. Check out the starshade device right here. Very real. They're using this technology. You can see it around the sun right here. Turn it way down, you'll see it clearly. Let's see if I can find one on a preset. Check out that one. But you can see what they're doing. Now that, that could be a satellite, that could be a UFO. I don't know guys, they'll be spinning. If you remember, right? So I don't know. This might come out in three or four videos. This might come out in a half hour video, guys. So uh, keep up with me. We're dealing with this stuff. It's all over the place. Um, he, he's showing you how the lens is set up. Damaged equipment. This is part of, like, right here. This is all part of Starship. You know? Now, what, what, is, what is this? being hit. That's really a question that you can see through the star shade. Here's the rim. What's that? Could be the sun? I don't know. Let's see if we could uh, take a picture of that and filter it. Alright. Let's see if I got it in here, guys. Well, obviously now when you see something like this, folks, look at that. Obvious now. There's a shield, right? Not like, let's get perspective here. Here's the shield. Like you see the shield. Here's the rim of the shield. Okay, it's got a nice little rim. Pretty easy to check. We see stuff like this, now we know. Um, it's really easy to see it now. She's already pre-filtered pre some of these just to make the show quicker. Um, but you know, <clears throat> so this right here is an artificial light system. The kind of thing that freaks me out is um, is it is our sun off? You know, like here you got a lot of stuff going up in the atmosphere going on. A lot of this, I think, are different types of lenses, orbs, drones. I mean, a lot of stuff. Here we see more of the lenses right here. So how are they using this? Oh man, I mean, could they be doing stuff like this? Of course they could. I love this picture, but could they be telling, I mean, they're just telling us, like, we're all looking, they're laughing, right? So let's stop letting them laugh, but what does the real planet look like? That's the question. So I don't know if this is real. I'm not trying to debunk nothing. Um, you know, it came in red like this. This is how I got it. Someone shared it. Okay, so if you look at this, really bad, really bad, really bad looking. I just try to do my best. Look how it has something eclipsing that. But I, I actually think this piece is real, guys. I mean, I didn't, I didn't doubt it at all, really. But look at that. So I don't know. You know, some people could argue and say the lines around that sun right there are Photoshop, but I don't think it is. I think the color was added to it. Okay, so here's the original. So we're seeing all this crazy stuff. I'm just going, I'm on a rampage here, guys. Look at that. Real or not? Okay, so let's, let's, let us know what is real, right? Let us learn what is real. Let us know what it is. When you get something like this, kind of freaks you out, right? Now, this could be the real deal. This could, could be covering the real sun. I'm just... You know, making sure you guys understand that. This thing could be covering the real sun right here. This is a fake sun, let's say. Let's defil let's filter a little bit. You got a lot of stuff going on there. Okay, we're coming up on the 20 minute mark. 
So there's lots of questions I have. Here we go, just dehaze it right there. Just dehaze it. And then if you do a little bit of like uh, auto correction, you get these crazy objects like that. But you know, this folder I've been exposing here can give us the answer, guys. You know, I love sunshots, but it's just, is this really like I get these different shots and I go to different channels I show the sun are they really showing our sun with this these circular objects right here in them or is it all like a show in the sky I mean you tell me I want the truth that's all I only want the truth it's like the matrix right and he got this object just sucking off the sun look at that thing he's just sucking right off the sun you can see it sucking the nitrogen or whatever it does protons hydrogen radiation nuclear physics is not my thing actually i'm a preacher guys that's about as far as i get but here we go i'm showing you this planet is pulling off the sun so are they watching the sun minimal is it is it dimming down so much um you know i don't know then I get pictures like this, guys. I got this picture like a year or two ago. And you get all this stuff. You get UFO looking stuff. So I think it's a big show, you know. I'm not saying everything is not real. The planets are not real. And these things that are in the sun's atmosphere are not real. <laughs>